so in this video I will try to show you how I how you can record uh, your classes if you want to or any stuff that is happening via Google Chrome tab like if you join a Google classroom you enter a classroom via Google meet or via zoom or MS teams if you open those using your Google Chrome tab you would be able to uh, record the classes by this method basically what I do is I share my stream as uh, the Google classroom uh, the Google meet tab via streaming software and uh, use uh, and then I stream the classroom to YouTube now a classroom is usually greater than 15 minutes so you need to first activate or verify your YouTube account uh, to be able to uh, stream for more than 15 minutes and you do that by following the steps you can just google how to uh, verify your YouTube account and you should get this uh, site and follow the steps there and you would be good to go then after that you open streamyard.com so streamyard is a free platform to stream stuff <laughs> and that is what I use here well it is a freemium software so if you want to get the full features you have to buy it but we don't need the full features I do not mind getting a small watermark on top of my classroom recording this has got a recording limit of uh, about I think 22 hours in one month so you can just get around this hassle by creating multiple accounts in StreamYard and you are pretty much good to go you sign into StreamYard by using your Gmail credentials you can create different Gmail accounts no one cares if you are using the same account then you get this screen after you uh, click on create broadcast you give a suitable title regarding the privacy setting I would uh, recommend that it is kept to unlisted or private because you I personally do not want random people accessing my college or school classes so if you put it to public it's going to send a notification to all of your subscribers of your YouTube channel and you do not want that I at least don't want that so I keep it in unlisted and then you click on create broadcast this would open up oh and you can create schedule for later and this doesn't make any difference doesn't make much of a difference after you create broadcast you get another Google Meet like screen where you can uh, talk even talk put on your video but right now our purpose is not to show our video or show our audio we need to sh uh, we need to show the classes so you deny all video and camera uh, access via the Google Chrome when it asks and then you enter this screen underneath the screen you would get an option called share screen and if you click on share screen it opens up the tray sharing tray and uh, that would enable you to you can also edit other stuff that now opening up the sharing tray you need to share the meet or the zoom your classroom tab Google Chrome tab and if you click on the Chrome tab you would be able to see whatever is happening you must make sure that share the tab audio that uh, checkbox is clicked otherwise you would not get any sound from your uh, Google Meet uh, no sound would be recorded and now here I start, start here I had started sharing now I am showing it to you again click on share screen share screen again 
Chrome tab or Brave tab since I am using Brave browser make sure that you check the share tab audio and then share and then the meet screen is shared now the final step is to go to StreamYard and click on go live and you are good to go these are other fancy stuff that you may or may not use and by default it is not there that sticker screen or anything you can add it as and when you want after you click on go live it will go live and under just to the left of that you can see my profile picture under that profile picture you would get an option uh, open in YouTube or something like that from where you can access the YouTube link and after you have gone live you have to end the broadcast from the same button and after uh, and then you would also be able to uh, revisit your recording later thank you for watching